engineer so today we are going to discuss <coughs> uh, another topic regarding the work process monitoring i hope so far whatever i uploaded in my channel you are finding it helpful and uh, also there are some suggestions from your side also and i take those things positively and <coughs> today we are going to discuss on the work process so generally we are focusing on the dialogue work processes and to monitor the dialogue work process in sap level you can go to t code sm50 and you can monitor that Suppose your dialog work process is full and your system is not accessible or your GUI is not accessible. So the only option left out that is to access from the OS level. And you need to access the system from the OS level. So I will just guide you today how to monitor the work process from the OS level. So first you need to switch to SID ADM. So I'll just switch it here. So once I switch to SID ADM because remember the profile directory is always in the CD Pro. Or else you can directly go into the CD slash SAP MNT slash SID slash profile. Inside that also either way you can do that. I'll just have a shortcut so I'll just go into the profile directory. So here if you see all the profiles are there. All my default profiles and the instance profile. So here I need to use the command you know. Uh, I just need to use the command dpmon. Okay so dpmon is the command to check your dispatcher and also the work process status from the OS level you need to select the instance profile don't select the instance profile backups because backup is not going to give you the right information just give the instance profile which is correctly being used by the SAP system so once you go that go there if you can uh, you know you will go to this window here so once you go to uh, the dispatcher monitoring so here you can type M is for menu so here you can go to the uh, type P for the work process admin table. So here you can see the dialog work process and the, all the work process tables you can see here. So in case your dialog work process, suppose here in this case, before dialog work process, all the dialog work process are occupied, then your system won't be accessible at this point of time. So you can access in the OS level, you can check which user is causing higher, you know, like which users are running the transactions in the dialog mode. And also you can check, <coughs> you know, which client they're running and which program they're running. So you can just accordingly connect with your client and you can uh, inform them to cancel the dialog work process so that the system can be available for the further login. I hope you find this video useful and uh, this is very important for the people who are working in the support environment. So thank you so much for watching this video and keep supporting Odia Engineer. Thank you so much.